So, I was just listening to uh, Tim Tim at Timcast, Tim Pool at Timcast. Great dude. If if, if you want to get the news from a guy who respects journalism, uh, this is the guy. Tim Pool is going to places. It's called Timcast. Uh, just a great journalist. Uh, and he's a millennial. He's also a millennial, which is crazy. Uh, he's a great journalist, though. Uh, I really admire him. I'm, I'm listening to Tim Cast about uh, people freaking out about the new Ghostbusters all male cast coming back. The original cast. You know, it's not like they're putting in different males. But anyways, so I asked to listen to a gentleman uh, who's a professor at some obscure college uh, somewhere because he's a radical type guy. Not a radical left or right, just radical radical type guy. Uh, a Lebanesian Jew uh, who's really lived it. His name is Gad Sad. Uh, like it sounds, Gad Sad. Uh, I think there's an extra D in there on both of them. Or an extra D. Two A's and then two D's or something. I can't remember. Gad Sad. Uh, the Godfather of Sad. Uh, so, he's been making fun of uh, the lunacy, as he calls it. Uh, and he's a professor of Dar uh, Darwinian behavioralism. Uh, uh, I, I believe is what he is. Uh, the lunacy of transgender culture, and not necessarily the transgender culture, but the far left's uh, integration of the culture, the far left's, uh, you know, take on, on the, you know, so like things like as a, I want to say, but as a cis male, if I am not willing to date a transgender woman, then I'm I'm a bigot. I'm a bad person. Uh, I I have to view them as women, or else I'm a horrible person. You know, uh, things like that. Uh, and this new meme that's come out of only women can talk of women issues. You know, uh, and only African Americans can speak on African American topics. And, and such as, like, only Jewish people can talk about the Jewish uh, uh, Holocaust. And that's just, that's just not a logical, it's a logical fallacy. There's no reason, because I'm a white male, that I can't speak on topics that I'm not uh, racially, uh, uh, that I'm not, you know, I've interacted with African Americans a lot, right? Uh, I can't tell you the plight of every one of them. But I can tell you the plight of some of them and, and their opinions. And, and, and I listen to a lot of uh, 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 my pad, the podcasts I listen to are from a variety of different social structures, social uh, parts of, you know, uh, man, this little kid in Hawaii, love him, does crazy shit with electronics. Great kid. I, I, I believe, oh, he's not, he's not Hawaiian though. He's, I believe, he, I think he's part Filipino, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I look, you know, uh, uh, Dunson, uh, oh, I might have messed up his name, friend on Facebook, uh, he's an African-American conservative, I listen to his stuff all the time, uh, I just, uh, another one was, uh, oh, anyways, I am culturally diverse in the things I'm willing to listen to from, you know, as long as it's within the center, a little left, okay, fine, a little right, but anyways, so Gads had makes fun of these people. You can only talk about women's issues if you're a woman. Oh, uh, ne uh, uh, Liam Neeson just got in trouble because he told a story about how his friend got raped by a black person and, and he was so mad about it that he grabbed a weapon and roamed the streets of black neighborhoods in London or, or, or somewhere hoping for a confrontation with a black Af an African American so he could kill them. And some white woman, liberal uh, uh, feminist goes, you cannot tell the story because that involves the rape of a woman. You're not allowed to talk, tell that story in your involvement in it because that's her story to tell, not yours. What the fuck? He didn't say her name or nothing. Didn't really put her in the spotlight. Just said, look, I had a close friend. Uh, she got raped. And he asked, you know, what color he was. And she said black. And, and that hatred went inside of him. And he grabbed a gun. And, and, and he was going to take it out. On, on, on any black person he met, which is wrong, and he admits it's wrong. He admits it was a dark and bad place for him at the time. Uh, I think, uh, 
I had lost respect for uh, Liam Neeson quite a while ago over certain issues. I'm not sure I respect him much more because of this statement, but I do respect that he admits he was wrong. He admits there's a horrible way of thinking about things, and he puts it out there like that. So I think, okay, he's grown. He's made a mistake. He's grown. And he didn't actually hurt anybody. So that's the important thing. Okay, so get that. Feminism. Oh, fuck. I might have lost my train of thought. I did. Motherfucker. That's a lot. That's five minutes waste of time. Uh, Gad said is is considered feminism. Feminism just to get oh, so we we were doing this thing like if I if I identified I identified as Gad's uh, ex wife and mother of his children, so I was going to take him to court as a for my alimony, and then another guy said, well, I identify as your lawyer, so therefore. Uh, uh, you owe me the money we get out of that Alamoy settlement. And then uh, I said, well, I identified his actual child. And then he identified that he could abort me in my fourth trimester because I was a fourth trimester child. Anyways. Oh, that's it. I got it. Okay, so. Women who talk, women can't talk about n having no right to vote because no woman alive didn't have the right to vote. If, if a white person can't talk about uh, African-American experience as they see it, as they're involved, uh, even even when they were involved, if, if a Nia, a Liam Neeson can't talk about that story that he was even involved in because it's a woman's story, right? Women can no longer speak about not having the right to vote because there is no woman alive who knows that experience. They can't talk about that experience because... They didn't live through it. Oh, same with African Americans. They no longer can talk about the African American experience because they, from uh, slavery in America, because there's no longer an actual African American who lived in slavery. So they no longer can talk about that subject. I'm just saying if we're going to categorize things where women, only women can talk about women's issues because they actually experience women's issues, well, they can't talk about women's issues that concern not being able to vote because they've never experienced that oppression if, if and that's i guess the, the if you have to experience the oppression to be able to talk about that type of oppression then they don't get to talk about not voting and they don't think they're talking about slavery and i'm not saying this is right i believe that african Americans should continue the his the, the the our understanding of the impacts of slavery on the current generations because it is, it's linear and it affects, but it just doesn't affect black people and white people as a, as a community. We should c continue speaking together about slavery and we should continue uh, speaking about, uh, 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 what's it called? Women's right to vote was uh, suffrage, women's suffrage, right? Even though nobody suffered from it in a long time, we still need to analyze it and discuss it in a rational manner, men, women, Black, white, all together. So that's that's what I want. Really, I would like for Gad Sad to watch this. I'd be very honored, sir, if you happen to. And am I right or wrong there?